Welcome to the frozen continent of Antarctica, a landmass shrouded in mystery and secrets. Despite being one of the most isolated places on Earth, Russia has made a groundbreaking discovery that may change our understanding of this vast wilderness forever. In this video, we'll explore the many wonders of Antarctica and uncover the truth about what lies beneath its icy surface. Get ready to be amazed by the beauty and resilience of this frozen continent. Antarctica is the world's fifth largest continent, covering approximately 5.5 million square miles. It is located in the southern hemisphere, surrounding the South Pole. Because of its extreme southern location, Antarctica experiences long periods of darkness in the winter and constant daylight in the summer. But it's not just the location of Antarctica that makes it unique. The continent also has some of the most extreme weather conditions on the planet. It has the highest average elevation of any continent, at approximately 7,500 feet above sea level. The coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth, negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, was also recorded in Antarctica. But Antarctica wasn't always known to humans. It was discovered by a group of Russian explorers led by Captain Fatty Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev in 1820. The two ships, Murney and Vostok, set sail from Russia in 1819 and made their way down to the Southern Ocean. They discovered and named several islands along the way, including Sandwich Land, which turned out to be the Sandwich Islands. Bellingshausen and Lazarev discovered Antarctica for the first time on January 27, 1820, when they saw ice cliffs rising up 100 feet above water. They named the area Iceberg Land. Later, the name was changed to Antarctica, the hidden ecosystem beneath the ice. Antarctica is home to a hidden ecosystem that has been sealed beneath its icy surface for millions of years. The ecosystem is made up of subglacial lakes, the most notable of which is Lake Vostok. Lake Vostok is about 4,000 meters beneath the East Antarctic ice sheet, and it's about the size of Lake Ontario. It's estimated that it's been cut off from the rest of the world for at least 14 million years. Lake Vostok and other subglacial lakes have piqued the interest of scientists and explorers all over the world. Exploration efforts have been ongoing for decades in order to study these unique environments. Russian scientists began drilling through the ice towards Lake Vostok in the 1990s in an attempt to reach the lake's water. The Russian team finally broke through the ice and reached the lake in 2012 after more than a decade of stop and go drilling. Upon reaching the lake, Russian scientists discovered that the water was extremely pure with very few contaminants. This fueled speculation that the lake might harbor previously unknown life forms. Indeed, DNA analysis of the water samples revealed the presence of bacteria that did not correlate to any known species in global databases. Scientists are excited about this unidentified or unclassified life form because they believe the icy darkness of Lake Vostok may provide a glimpse of the planet before the Ice Age and clues to life on other planets. The Singing Glacier, Antarctica is famous for its rugged, isolated landscape and extreme weather conditions. It is, however, home to a rare natural phenomenon known as the Singing Glacier. The Beardmore Glacier, located in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, is one of the continent's largest glaciers and is known for producing a variety of eerie sounds, ranging from deep rumbles to high-pitched squeaks and moans. Scientists have been mystified by the Singing Glacier for years, and research into the phenomenon is still ongoing. Some theories propose that the noises are caused by air bubbles released as the ice melts, while others propose that the noises are caused by the glacier moving and grinding against rock beneath. Mars Rock the Allen Hills 84001 meteorite, also known as the Mars Rock, made headlines in 1996 when scientists discovered fossilized microbial life within it. The meteorite was discovered in Antarctica's Allen Hills in 1984, but scientists weren't fully able to analyze it until more than a decade later. The discovery of microbial life in the meteorite was significant because it suggested that Mars, like Earth, may have liquid water in its past. This, in turn, increased the likelihood that the red planet once supported life. Small tube-like structures in the meteorite resembled those found in bacteria on Earth, providing evidence for microbial life. 
the structures were discovered within small spheres of magnetite, a mineral that is frequently associated with biological processes. The discovery of the Allen Hills 84001 meteorite also prompted additional Mars research, including the Mars rover missions, which have continued to look for evidence of water and past life on the planet. In short, Antarctica has helped scientists learn more about Mars history and the conditions that may have existed billions of years ago. Blood Falls Blood Falls is a bright red waterfall that flows from a glacier into a lake in the McMurdo Dry Valleys. The fall's striking color is caused by the presence of iron oxide, which oxidizes and turns red when it comes into contact with air. The source of iron oxide and the red color, however, is even more intriguing. The blood falls are caused by a briny water that has been trapped beneath the glacier for millions of years. The water is rich in iron, which has leached into the water and caused it to turn red. The brine is so salty that it remains liquid, even in Antarctica's freezing temperatures. But that isn't all. Microbial life has also been discovered in the brine, implying that these microorganisms have been trapped beneath the glacier for hundreds of thousands of years. Dry Valleys the dry valleys of Antarctica are a unique and extreme environment that supports a wide range of microbial life. These valleys, located in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, are among the driest and coldest places on Earth, with little to no snow or ice. Most forms of life struggle to survive in the dry valleys due to extreme conditions such as extremely low humidity, high levels of ultraviolet radiation, and temperatures that can reach negative 80 degrees Celsius. In spite of these obstacles, microbial life has thrived in this harsh environment. Microorganisms like bacteria, algae, and fungi have also been discovered in the dry valleys by scientists. These microorganisms survive in the harsh conditions by forming thin films on the rocks, harnessing the sun's energy to produce food, and forming symbiotic relationships with other organisms. Some bacteria found in the dry valleys can withstand extreme desiccation and go into dormancy, allowing them to survive long periods without water. Transparent Fishes Life in Antarctica is already strange to us, with its frozen landscapes and extreme conditions. But the discovery of see-through fish living beneath the ice adds an even more alien element. These transparent fish were discovered in the waters beneath the Ross Ice Shelf, where they have survived in temperatures just below freezing. These fish, which belong to the suborder Notothenioidae, make up a significant portion of the animal biomass in Antarctic waters. To survive in freezing temperatures, these fish have developed unique adaptations such as antifreeze glycoproteins. These fish have large eyes in addition to their translucent skin, which is likely due to the fact that they live in complete darkness. Collapse of the Thwaites Glacier Climate change is affecting our entire planet, including Antarctica. The Thwaites Glacier, located in western Antarctica, is a massive ice sheet that has gotten a lot of attention recently because of its potential consequences of its collapse. The Thwaites Glacier alone can raise global sea levels by nearly two feet, and its collapse could have serious consequences for coastal communities and the environment. Scientists have been keeping a close eye on the Thwaites Glacier, which is currently losing ice at an alarming rate. The glacier has lost approximately 2 billion metric tons of ice over the last three decades, and it's expected to continue melting at an accelerated rate in the coming years. The Thwaites Glacier's potential collapse could have far-reaching consequences. Rising sea levels could endanger low-lying coastal communities, causing flooding and erosion. This would result in the displacement of millions of people and significant damage to infrastructure. Melting glaciers could also disrupt ocean circulation patterns, causing changes in weather patterns and potentially more extreme weather events. Attempts are being made to gain a better understanding of the Thwaites Glacier and the potential consequences of its collapse. The International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration, a collaboration between the United States and the United Kingdom, is researching the glacier to improve predictions of its future. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.